Republican lawmakers in Pennsylvania have approved subpoenas for a wide range of data and personal information on voters, including driver's license numbers, social security numbers, and voting history. It's the latest move to advance a so-called investigation into the results of the 2020 election. Pennsylvania, of course, is a key battleground state and a state where the former president has repeatedly made baseless claims of fraud. Democrats say they'll fight the subpoena. So does the state's attorney general, Josh Shapiro, and he joins us now. So, attorney general, what, what exactly is your plan to fight these? Well, first off, Anderson, let's look at what the subpoenas actually ask for. Most of the information they're asking for is actually already publicly available, sort of confirming the charade that this really is. Then uh, second, when you dive into the subpoenas, it's very clear that there is absolutely no legitimate legislative purpose to snooping on Pennsylvania voters and demanding their private information. Like you said, their social security numbers, driver's license numbers, and voter history. Here in Pennsylvania, we have very strict laws and constitutional interpretation that makes it very clear that people's information here needs to be protected, that their privacy is paramount. And turning that information over is certainly not legal. And so we will fight it. We will take all necessary legal steps to protect the privacy of Pennsylvanians. You know, we saw some legislators from Pennsylvania going to Arizona for the, you know, to kind of tour the phony audit that was going on there. Um, it, it seems like this is kind of just part and parcel of, of that. I mean, they're saying it's necessary to, you know, this personal information is necessary to get to identify voter fraud, but there's no evidence of, of voter fraud. I mean, no one has presented real right. evidence of voter fraud. You know, most counties in your state underwent two audits. Yeah, Anderson, I'm the chief law enforcement officer of the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania. We had less than a handful of cases of voter fraud. In each case there, these were individuals trying to cast one extra vote for Donald Trump. We did not have the widespread voter fraud that they are alleging. We had a safe and secure, free and fair election. And it's important to note that we've already gone, gone through two statutorily required audits here in Pennsylvania, which confirmed the results that Joe Biden won by just over 80,000 votes. I think it's important for people to understand that the person leading this committee and the person who was leading it before went to Arizona to study the sham audit. And before they went forward with these ridiculous hearings and with these subpoenas, they checked with one person, Donald Trump. They didn't check with the taxpayers whose money they're spending on this. They didn't check with the people who are concerned and want them focused on real issues like COVID and educating our kids and public safety. Instead, they went to Donald Trump and asked his permission to go forward with this. It's a sham, it's a charade, and it's something that I am going to stop here in Pennsylvania. They will not get the personal information that they are asking for from the good people of Pennsylvania. Yeah, but is there any real peril to handing it over to a, to a Senate caucus? Absolutely. We have laws in this Commonwealth that make clear that people's personal private information needs to be protected. In fact, our Pennsylvania Supreme Court has held time and time again that the right to informational privacy here in Pennsylvania is protected under our state constitution. Just the act of handing it over to some of these senators is questionable, and certainly handing it over to some third party organization that these Republicans have yet to name who probably are gonna be folks associated with the former president um, puts, uh, you know, really violates the law in Pennsylvania, violates our constitution, and something that certainly is not gonna happen on my watch. It, it certainly seems like it's an attempt just to show, to, to make it seem like they are doing something in, you know, some sort of investigation on so-called elec yeah. election integrity, when in fact they're not really doing anything because there's nothing really right. that they can do or to be done because when, when you push back and saying, well, you know, what is this election integrity? They come back saying, well, what's wrong with more transparency? If there's nothing to hide, you know, why not hand this stuff over? Right. I guess I just respectfully push back on you a little bit. You use the word seem twice in the question. Yes. That's actually what they're That's doing. Ridiculous. They are actually yeah. perpetuating. <laughs> they're actually perpetuating a charade on the good people of Pennsylvania at the behest of Donald Trump, they are spending taxpayer money on this. They are trying to compromise the privacy 
of the people of Pennsylvania. That's what they're doing in order to keep faith and run an errand for Donald Trump. In addition, Arizona and Pennsylvania, Wisconsin has already authorized an audit. We've seen state GOP lawmakers in Michigan, Georgia, and Texas push for reviews there. Do you worry about just nationwide about our democracy when this seems to be the playbook that they're sticking with as we head into future elections? Every single hour of every single day, I worry about our democracy. Look, the good people of Pennsylvania have been lied to by their elected leaders, elected Republican leaders here in Pennsylvania, lied to by the former president. Those, those lies are dangerous. They're not just things that you know get get talked about around the water cooler or, or on television. They're things that you know end up being a cancer on our democracy. They're things that um, don't allow us to agree on then basic sets of facts and and data and science that we need, for example, to beat this pandemic. They are tearing yeah. us apart, and they are making people feel as though they will not be counted in our democracy. I'm fighting back against that. And it's important to note, Anderson, that they sued us over 40 times here in Pennsylvania, first to make it harder for people to vote, yeah. and second to make sure that their votes didn't count. We beat them every single time, and we'll do it again yeah. with this sham audit. Attorney General, appreciate it. Thanks so much, Josh Shapiro.